What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Paige Campbell Show, episode twenty nine. Twenty nine. Nice. I always like I always practice the number and then I forget about it <laughs> yeah. the moment we start recording. I'm like, wait, was it twenty eight? It's twenty nine. I'm, I'm pretty it is sure. Twenty nine. I actually checked. So next one's thirty, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what we're gonna do for thirty? What are we gonna do with it? All right. You want to do Superman? Oh yeah, let's do that. All right. So it's a big number, so we might as well. So uh, I couldn't find the memory card. Let's let's throw this oh, out yeah. there right off the bat. It's an audio pod. Couldn't find the memory card for the camera. It's so we're just we're just audioing it up, which is most podcasts anyway. Pretty much. But you know, we like to show you our beautiful faces. Yeah. But I watched a documentary called "The Death of Superman Lives: What Happened." Pretty fascinating documentary. It's a nice title. Um, it, <laughs> it is a nice title. <laughs> Basically, in the '90s, they were going to make a uh, a documentary. Oh, not a documentary. Th- this was a documentary. Yeah, yeah. They were going to make a movie um, about the death of Superman lives. You know, uh, uh, what's his name? Doomsday kills yeah, Superman yeah, yeah. and all that. Uh, and the first script was written by Kevin Smith. Um, um, and then Kevin Smith was thrown off the project. Um, you know, Kevin Smith, Clerks, mm-hmm. Mall Rats. Mm-hmm. You know him, Tusk. Tusk. Um, title. Tusk is great. It's a great movie. Screw Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, so Kevin Smith was thrown off the project. They got another guy I hadn't heard of to write, rewrite it. And that was the script they were going with. Um, and they were going to get Nicolas Cage to play Superman. Odd choice. Odd choice. And, uh... Tim Burton was directing. Okay. Which is like, okay, he, yeah. did, he did, you know, a good job with Batman. Fine job. But uh, Nicolas Cage was his choice. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, they were going to do that. Um, we're going to do a table read of Kevin Smith's, of Kevin Smith's uh, script. Because yeah. I don't know how it got there, but his script's online. It's pretty cool. It exists. So, we're going to do a table read. I'll probably get some <laughs> other guys in here. Maybe, maybe a girl. I know Lois is we a, need a, we need a Lois. Lois is a key part of the script, so um and I'm excited about it, man, because I mean one, reading a Superman script that never got made. Yeah. That's cool, yeah. right? Because I haven't read it. I know like some hardcore Superman fans have read through it. I haven't read it. So I'm excited about that. Um and two, Kevin Smith is a comic book fan himself. So he said his particular script is just straight fan fiction. Yeah, that's pretty he cool. He said you got Brainiac, you got Luther, nice. you got Darkseid. I think uh, Batman makes an appearance. Oh, that's that's great, dude. So, yeah. I mean, we're all going to do multiple voices. Yeah. I only have four mics, but I'll try to get probably a girl in here to be Lois. And yeah, then we can be just good. be every other part. That'd be awesome. <laughs> the girl could be like Luther, too, if she wants. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe one of us will be Lois. All I'm right. not making any promises. <laughs> You just have to tune in to episode 30. All right. So episode 30, look for that. The death of Superman lives. We're going to tell you what happened. <laughs> uh, that's going to be fun. We're excited yeah, about that. It'll be a good episode. So that's, uh, you know, we're bringing, trying to bring a movie to life. Yeah. We like movies. I like movies. We were talking before the mics came on. What's up with all those movies? Yeah, these crap movies that are coming out. Yeah. Well, you got Minions. Minions. What's the deal with Minions? I'm not going to watch that. I mean, first of all... Not even if my little sister wants to watch it. First of all, I don't want to, like, tear too into the Minions, because people love the Minions. Yeah. I don't get it. Now, the thing is, spinoffs, I feel like, are always hit and miss. It's either something that is, you know, worthwhile, or right. something that is just complete garbage. There are many good spinoffs. I was trying to think of, like, great spinoffs. Yeah, nothing that's like, stands out. You got, um... At least next to the original. See, even I feel like if it's a good spinoff, it's still not as good. Yeah. You know, like, like I, mean, I was thinking, uh, check it out. Check it out is great. Check it out's great. It out's but great. I mean, I'll take awesome show over yeah, check it out any day. Definitely. I mean, you, you have like a, you have like a show and you, or a movie and there's an appealing side character. Right. Give them their own series. That's fine. I don't see, you know, a problem with that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I do. Like with right. minions. <laughs> like with the minions. Who who cares that much about the minions and you know, Despicable Me was a fine movie. A fine uh, two movies. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing about it. It was like okay, I liked Despicable Me, the first one. And I was like, yeah. it's fine. I don't even think it's like that like exactly. in, in like the like pantheon <laughs> of DreamWorks movies. <laughs> yeah. You got it's Shrek, Shrek. It's not which Shrek. is Shrektastic. <laughs> You got uh, a more Shrek spinoffs. Puss in Boots. There was a Shrek. I never saw Puss in Boots. <laughs> I never did good? either. I only saw the first three Shreks. It's weird. I think Donkey should have his own movie. And then yeah, that that's actually true. I would I'd watch I'd Donkey. Watch, yeah. I, I think they should the Shrek spinoff they should have done is Shrek Five. <laughs> 
We d- we need a an ogre sized sequel. <laughs> it's never ogre. It's never ogre. Um, yeah, I I saw the first three Shreks. Yeah, <laughs> and I never. And then I remember the fourth one was called because because I think that's the thing. They milk a franchise, right? And the they milk a franchise, and spinoffs are a way to like kind of sh- shoehorn in yeah. another sequel without it being a direct sequel. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, so like, it's just, like, yeah. there's not a Despicable Me 3, there's a Minions movie. Just something easy to write. Because I remember Shrek 4 was called, like, the final chapter. Yeah. And it's like, this is it, no more Shrek. And yeah. then it's like, well, Puss in Boots. And then you get Puss in Boots. <laughs> and I think there was, like, a even a show or something. There was, like, a Prince Charming. Well, you know, I was like, actually, I was, thinking about, I was thinking about this the other night, actually. Of all the movies that, like become just bad franchises after like the first one or two movies right the one movie that like i feel like the reason it's so great is because it hasn't had a sequel but should have a sequel is incredibles that's true it's so weird to me that like every almost every other pixar movie of late has has a sequel or has one in development and we've never had the incredible sequel that's a good point um it'd be cool if there was like a uh, spin off of that. We yeah. Got a little Frozen. A little Frozen. Yeah. Frozen is a great character. Standalone movie. But yeah, that's a good point. And I feel like it, it goes both ways in the public's eye where it's like people complain like crazy about sequels and remakes. Yeah. But then movies that never get never get touched again, it's like, wait, I'd like to see more of that. Yeah. <laughs> I know? mean, it's weird though because I remember watching the. It's set up for a sequel. That's true. You know, there was, there was a. Um, like a concept artist that designed the underminer, like expecting to, you know. There was a game yeah, um, there was, that was good. There? I enjoyed it. It was called Rise of the Underminer, and it picked up right where Incredibles just left like off. The second movie should just be called. Yeah, they should just. Something. I'd be weird if it was a game first and then a movie. There aren't many good video game movies. Yeah, but that'd be first. Yeah, that would be weird. I'd be weird if the sequel, like of a acclaimed movie, was a game first and yeah, then a movie. Like, uh, I guess the um. What do you call it? the uh, the horror the survival horror series? Um, Resident Evil. Yeah, Resident Evil. They made but the movies, but the first one wasn't a movie, right? Right. It'd be oh, weird yeah, if like the first is, yeah. one was like a huge like blockbuster movie. And then the sequel. Is the sequel's a video game, and then the, the game. video game <laughs> gets turned into yeah. a movie. It's like, wait a second. Well, I mean, no one asked for Cars two. Yeah. Who's asking? And then for air, and then planes. <laughs> planes. The Nobody wanted cars. that. That wasn't even supposed to be a feature film. Right. And then um. What, That's a got... weird story, because um, like everyone like totally just like ripped it apart and lambasted it. They were like, "This looks like it should be a straight to DVD yeah. or straight download," and it's like it was supposed to be. Yeah, it was, and then yeah. Disney was just like, "Like, like I heard like a week before it was supposed to come out, Disney was just like, eh, put it in yeah. the theaters.' <laughs> I mean, they like, got what? the money for it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why not? Like our budget's not even close to a theater yeah. release, theatrical release. Ah, uh, it's a shame. And then I mean we had Monsters University. I liked that. It was good. But who who was like asking for that? I mean, uh, it was yeah, sort of a pre- it was a prequel. I, mean, I feel like even... sequels are weird because sequels are never like as good in movies. You know, like they're not necessarily bad, but they're never as good. Yeah. But then in like video games, they're always better. Like oh, yeah, I can't think of one always, time yeah. where the sequels like, ugh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think yeah, that's true. That's a good point. The sequel is always like. 10 times better in yeah. a video game. Like, games just progressively get better. Whereas yeah. Whereas movies, not always. Yeah. Unless it's Bond. Unless it's Bond. Bond movies. That's true. What is a sequel, movie sequel, that's better than the original? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, I thought uh, Age of Ultron was better than yeah. Avengers. A lot of people disagree. But I haven't, still haven't seen it, but I did, oh, hear, yeah. I did hear that a lot. Um, I heard the opposite, but I, I personally thought it was a better movie. Yeah, there was... Just more entertaining, because neither of them are, like, just as movies, great movies. Yeah. And, I mean, I'm sorry if that upsets anyone, but, like, they're not great movies. They're okay movies. Yeah. But as movies, they're great superhero movies. Yeah. But they're not great movies. So, I, I thought Age of Ultron was the more entertaining movie. I guess, um... I guess, uh, Dark Knight was probably better than mm. Batman Begins by... Good call. By a lot. Yeah, good call. But then Rises is obviously... <laughs> worse. <laughs> not. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's that. There's, um, some could argue that, you know, episode five was better than episode four. Oh, episode well that's six was a great example. Yeah. I mean, like I love a new hope, but yeah. it's not even close. Like empire, uh, blows a new oh, hope does. out of the water. Yeah. And then Jedi, that's divisive. Yeah. A lot of people like empire. I like, more, I but like Return of the Jedi. 
Return of the Jedi is great. It's, it's a classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah. But then you got the prequels. That's true. <laughs> so, how I'm so excited for Episode Seven. I am too. I, I was really thinking am. about this. Like, I don't think I've ever been more excited for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> and it's one of these things. that's like, uh, I mean, doesn't uh... Jesus is great, but you got <laughs> you got Luke Skywalker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Give oh, me man. Luke Skywalker. Yeah, it, Give it me looks, the Force. It looks like it's gonna be amazing. I'm really excited. excited. Hi, Chipper. It's my dog, Chippy. Percy, I call him Chippy, and he responds to it's it. A good name. It's a good name for yeah. All right, let him out. But yeah, um, Star Wars Seven. It's, it's gonna be a fantastic film. At least we hope so. Yeah. Han's back. Chewie's back. They're home. <laughs> yes, you saw <laughs> in the trailer. Yeah, they are home. It's like ah, Chewie, we're home. Um, if they revealed the identity of Kylo Ren, the uh. The uh, enemy? Not that I'm aware of. Because this is weird. Uh, I mean, this would be, like, I feel like bigger news. But yeah. I got, like, my dad, like, on vacation just, like, got me, like, a magazine because it had Batman vs. Superman on the cover. Yeah. I think it's, like, Entertainment Weekly. Mm-hmm. So it had Batman vs. Superman and Wonder Woman on the cover. So he just picked it up, you know, just to be nice. And I was flipping through it. It was, like, they had a ton of movies in it. And there yeah. was a picture. It was, like, artwork. But it was a picture of um all the Star Wars characters and uh, it had everyone you'd expected the two new characters the uh, Finn the uh, the black gentleman yeah. and I don't know the girl's name but it had both of them and it had it looked like Han Solo but he was holding the lightsaber that oh, Kylo really? Ren holds huh. and I don't think we've seen Kylo Ren without the mask yeah. is Han Kylo Ren was it, wait was it fan art or was it like I mean it was a article about like what Star Wars would be and I, I assumed someone for the, for the magazine wrote it oh yeah or drew it not wrote it but like I don't know I'm just throwing that, that out yeah, there. I haven't, I haven't I'll show you after this. That's so. interesting, yeah. Yeah. Um, throw that picture on the episode. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbnail. I could, I could throw it up, yeah. Let's do it. Superimpose that. Superimpose it. Make it a... Uh, what are the things you click? Make it a... Uh, the thumbnail? No. The, uh, oh, like the thumbnail's like, like the link, video. Like a link to... A yeah, but what's it called in a video where you... Eh, oh, yeah. Um, annotation or something? Yeah, like annotation, yeah. yeah. I'll make it an annotation. <laughs> I always like to uh, like do weird like I'd love to do like a whole video, like an entire like uh like film yeah, and like you know four or five minutes and it only works on YouTube. It's like this guy goes to like a a sub shop, and he's like looking at the menu and he's like, oh, I'll have one annotation, please. <laughs> She's like, one annotation coming up. She like puts like she just like drops something on a plate and it like appears and like she hands it to him. It doesn't and, work like, if you have annotations off though. Yeah, that's well. That's the thing. It would all, like be so, and like the entire thing is like an ad, but it's a really cool ad because she's handing it to him, and it like links to the Paige Campbell show or something. Yeah. She's like handing it to him, and it's like moving as she hands it to him, and he like eats it. Like that'd be great, <laughs> and it gets gradually He's smaller. Like, click on it. I would love that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Like goes behind a dumpster. It's like <laughs> an annotation. <laughs> Gotta. Deep throat that annotation. Yeah, always. Yeah. Always. How you been doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Um, Pretty good. Oh, you know what I wanted to talk about? We were talking about movies. Um, so you were saying the new Vacation doesn't look that great. Yeah, I, and I, I agree. I heard it was bad. Oh, did you? Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it stands completely on its own, according to the trailer. <laughs> yeah. That was the one part of the trailer that I thought was actually pretty brilliant. Yeah, I thought so, too. They were like, is I this going to be like that old vacation? He's like, no, this vacation will stand completely on its own. Well, apparently that's <laughs> sort of part of the humor of the movie, is it's like really self-aware. Is that it's not? But that I think that leads to it being not that funny. Right. And like... It looks like the type of movie I want to like. I mean, I love Ed Holmes. He's yeah, great. Yeah, I do, too. Um, and... I don't know who else, Apple, but apparently Apple Tim Apple Heidecker's in it. Is he really? Appar- I don't know who he plays, but I, s- oh, I was on IMDb looking at it. Apparently he's in it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, speaking of Tim Heidecker, though, the new Fantastic Four. Right. It looks like Drek. Yeah. It I'm looks like <laughs> absolute garbage. Not interested in that movie. I don't want to see it, right? I don't either. I was watching the trailer. It's like Minions. It's, it looks again. like Minions, but they can stretch and uh, catch on fire <laughs> and turn into rocks. Or not turn into rocks, be rocks. They are rocks. They are rocks. Um, they look like Minions, um, but they've got the rocks off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, hey. I don't know if the mics will pick that <laughs> up, so I just yelled. 
It's a dog. There's a dog in the it's background. A little bit of barking. Percy makes an appearance. Un- know, uncut. I know some, pe- some people cut. Some people, you know, like to finagle their way it's around. Not, it's real. It's real life. It's real. We keep it on the <laughs> reels. Um, yeah. What were we talking? Uh, uh, Fantastic Four, yeah. right? Minions. It's not. It's a lot like <laughs> Minions, but it's not a lot like Minions. It's a comic book movie. Um, it doesn't look good to me. I love the Fantastic Four. I really want the Fantastic Four to have a great movie, but it doesn't look good to me. Yeah, it's kind of it, it's weird. I feel like Fantastic Four is like it's such. There's such a cool, you know, like superhero team. Mm-hmm. I feel like nobody really cares about them. I know. It's yeah. Weird. Well, it's yeah. I mean, they are awesome. I mean, if you read the right storyline, they're yeah. so rad. I I really enjoy them. Um, Spider Man had his run with them for a while. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. They're the reason Marvel exists. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Like the, the the story goes, Marvel was making kids comics. They weren't doing one superhero. Stan Lee was about to quit, and his wife was like, "Ah, just do one the way you'd like to do it." He did the Fantastic Four. Yeah. The rest is history. Teams, teams are great for comics. Yeah. Um. So I love the Fantastic Four. The movie doesn't look good in my opinion. Yeah. Tim Heidecker plays uh Mr. Fantastic's dad. And I think he's going to be in it for like 15 minutes. Oh, really? So I kind of want to go That's see it awesome. just for Tim. And it, watch the trailer. I'll show you the trailer after this. Watch the. I'm not going to superimpose <laughs> the trailer because <laughs> it'll get taken down. Yeah. But watch the trailer. And Tim's like voice is overlaid in it. Oh, is it? Yeah. He's like, he's like, not everyone can be special, Reed. Dude, that's it's great. Like, sometimes some people just gotta. It's ah, it's great. I forgot to tell you this. I watched Ant Man. I saw it too. Great movie. I love. Great. It. I watched it while I was on vacation. Greg Turkington. Greg Turkington. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. Oh man, dude, it Baskin was good. Robbins I, always. I liked time. it a lot. The uh, it was good. The it visuals was, were stunning. Yeah, and like, it, I was really impressed. It was a lot better than I thought it'd be. Yeah, same I'll here. definitely same say here. that. Which is good. I mean, I feel like the lesser movies, um, you know, Guardians mm. of the Galaxy was great. Yeah. Um, I feel like Marvel's really proven themselves with the lesser. Yeah, I, I like that about you know, what they've been doing lately. I think that's The C cool. and D list characters. Because, yeah. I mean, even the Ant-Man's not an A-list character anyway. He was one of the original yeah, Avengers. Avengers. Yeah, But Hank Pym is the A-list Ant-Man, even though Ant-Man's not A-list. Yeah. You know, they went with Scott Lang. They yeah. went with the <laughs> even more D-list yeah, it's, it's Ant-Man. Yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I liked it. It was good. I mean, love Paul Rudd. Right. He's a fantastic. Paul Rudd's fantastic. fantastic. Um, speaking of Paul Rudd, uh, hey, we watched Wet Hot American Summer recently yeah. together. Yeah. Did you watch the uh, new show? Not yet. Ah, I've been wanting great. to. I just binged it. It's only eight episodes. I just binged it in oh, like oh, one day. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was I thought it was just one episode. I didn't know. No, that. it was eight episodes. That's awesome. Because uh, Netflix just kind of... It's funny. It's very self-aware because it's a prequel. Yeah. It's called The First Day of Camp. The the movie is The Last Day of Camp. Yeah. Um. So it's this is the first day of camp when they first meet each no, other and everything. Sure. Hey, yeah, it's weird. Really? Especially the guy that plays... I don't know his name, but the guy that plays Coop. Um. Yeah, he's just absurd because he's like dressed as a teen and he's like That's big really and like... That's funny. He's like big and he has a wig on and he's like fat. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's, so it's very self-aware. It doesn't take itself seriously. It's very funny very good writing that's awesome i think it captures the charm of the original that's great yeah you definitely like definitely see the movie first though didn't it's didn't you movie. like fall asleep great movie yeah i missed part of it yeah definitely but see see great. the movie first but yeah great yeah that's on netflix netflix exclusive that's cool yeah they have, they have some good exclusives they do I, I actually like uh netflix's exclusive lineup and they uh i think they have a habit of saving episode uh tv shows that aren't you know gonna make it on on national television but yeah cable television or whatever that's true and then they pick them up and just make them their own yeah that's true a couple people have done that like community is i never watched community a lot of people say i'd like it but community is uh got saved by like yahoo or something yeah like yahoo's making a fifth season of community that's fine. Which is interesting. Uh, I mean, they did Arrested Development. Yeah. The which is very divisive. I personally enjoyed the new season. I wouldn't say they saved Arrested Development. They yeah. just <laughs> made it. It's the type of thing that, like, it doesn't need to exist. Yeah. But I'm fine with it existing. That's, I'm glad like, that it Like, it really, yeah. like, I enjoyed it. Yeah. You know? Um, a lot of people hated it, but I enjoyed it. People asked for it. Yeah. And they got it. Yeah. You know? You should get a movie of... The I think they said before. they were either going to do another season or a movie. Yeah, I a I movie would too. be, I feel like, a better suit. I'd like that. Like, a, like just that a one-shot. Yeah. Um, I, I'd be into that. Um, 
I like Orange is the New Black a lot. There's I only seen that yet. only two seasons, but yeah, really good. Yeah, I've heard good things. Very good. Uh, Bodak Horseman. Dude, I've been meaning to watch that too. It looks Very funny. good. Second season is. I mean, I liked the first season, but second season like it gets even better. Like yeah. the second season's a lot well, a lot more well done than the first season. And then they have comedy specials, which is cool. Yeah, and I really like what they're doing with stand up because they're giving um, a lot. Like it, it just gives. It was HBO and Comedy Central just dictating everything. Yeah, Comedy Central more so, yeah. and it gives. Uh, comedians another avenue which I like because yeah, there have cool. been a lot of people who have gotten specials that are really funny that just Comedy Central would have never given a special yeah, yeah, you yeah. know so I really like uh, Demetri Martin's new special comes out this month oh does it yeah that's awesome Um, so I'm definitely I'm definitely very excited for that that's great I love Demetri um, Eugene Merman just had a new special yeah that was a Netflix exclusive yeah yeah so I mean I really like what they're doing with stand up it gives a lot of people avenues and they're, they're giving a lot more uh, women opportunities which is oh, great because really? there's a lot of funny women um but like i think in 2014 it might have been 13 but uh my friend ken told me this they gave like four women specials which is three more in a year than comedy oh, central yeah. or hbo ever gave apparently comedy central or hbo never gave more than one woman that's a crazy, special man. in a year that's crazy so it's great yeah i really in enjoy this it. day and age yeah, and it's great. Like like uh, Jen Kirkman, she's hilarious. Uh, Chelsea Peretti is yeah. really funny, and like I don't think they would have specials if it huh. wasn't for Netflix. So. Very funny people. Yeah. Good for Netflix. Yeah, definitely. Um, what have you been up to, man? Let's just a whole lot of nothing. It's been a it's, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time since we recorded. Yeah, it has. I just wanted to like talk about like what are you gonna eat? Didn't you go on like a trip? Yeah. Oh, did we record an episode after that, or did we not? Maybe. What was the last episode? It was, was in, three or four weeks I was in ago. Winchester for a week. Well, I'll tell you, we went, we did a, uh, oh, you you did talk about that when you were at the camp. Yeah. I think you did talk about I that. I must have. I feel like, yeah, we, yeah. I but we that. had a little, uh, we had a little Paige Campbell show outing. We went. We, did. we went to a. Uh, it was a very nice day. Yeah, we went to King's Dominion. Right. Rode some rides. That was fun. Yeah. It was, it was a good time. <laughs> I don't know if there's day. much to say about it. It's but. King's Dominion. Yeah, King's Dominion's always a good time. Theme parks. Yeah. Very cool. We've, we did theme parks as a topic before. Yeah, I think we did, yeah. But I think so. Yeah. But I'm, I'm burnt out with King's Dominion. Yeah, uh, yeah. see, you're you're a season pass holder. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like the fact that I don't like it anymore. Yeah, right. I've um, written everything like a dozen times because we have season passes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it's a great it's a good time. Yeah, it is a good time. We, the boo blast. It's better with friends. Yeah, I, I I feel like you and like Nick are the only people I've gone with. Really? I haven't gone with like big groups. I've gone Maybe with Daniel. I think I've gone. With. I don't think I've ever gone. I've never with gone Daniel. with like a group. I, I need to hang out. We need to hang out with Daniel. We should hang out with Daniel. What's he up to? Let's get him on the show. Yeah, definitely. It's been a while since we've had. We other haven't people. had a, yeah. We haven't had a guest. I like it. One of those <laughs> ten episodes, probably. I'm gonna try to get uh, my friend Ian on. That'd be good. Um, because he's moving to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, he said he's up for it. We just have to figure out when it works. Yeah. But yeah, he's a good guy. I've only got about a week and a half left before you go yeah. to uh, Richmond. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to. I'll say I'm gonna try to. Uh, when since you're moving to Richmond, I'm gonna hit a lot more mics in Richmond. Open yeah. mics. Um, so we could also make that a, a recording. Could, yeah, find some opportunities if you're into it. In, in and I mean, time. if you're you, you're gonna have a roommate, right? Yeah. If your roommate's a cool guy, get him in there. I'll tell you what, I hope he is. I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anything about him. Uh, my housing situation is kind of um, bad because I waited right apparently to the last minute to apply, and I didn't know I had to apply. Mm. I guess that's probably an unspoken thing. But yeah, that is kind of odd because like you've already been accepted to the school, but you have to separately apply yeah. for housing. Yeah. That's kind of odd. Um, but yeah, uh, so I I think I'm living on the uh, medical campus of the school, which is far from all the rest of my class. And you're not like majoring not, in anything not, related to medical. I'm not doing that kind of stuff. Okay, with my life. All right. Um, and I my I tried to find my roommate on social media, and I couldn't find him. Mm. And he has a name that's very difficult for me to pronounce. Okay. So, I guess we'll see. All right. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not going to yeah, make mean, any assumptions. But I'm going to say, if he's a cool dude, I have no problem yeah. throwing him on the show. Exactly. <laughs> we'll but, get him on there. But if he's not, 
I'm, I'll let you make that call. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I have no, In no due problem time. doing it. Maybe he'll just listen. Yeah, you can listen. Absolutely. You can you can preach from the mountains. <laughs> you can get some uh, Richmond listeners. Yeah. I'll try. I need to start uh, saying it on stage. Like, check out my podcast. Yeah, that'd be cool. But I, I just Do haven't. Promoting. I don't think I've said it once. I need to. Really? Yeah, I need yeah. to. Because I mean, especially after I after I have a really good set. Yeah. You know, it's like, hey, check draw, out my draw in the crowd. Check out my pod. Yeah. You know, but as is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I haven't been up to much either. The Kings of Minion was fun. I just got back from uh, North Carolina. How was that? It's a good time. Uh, we went to. Garden City, I think it's like pretty much twenty minutes away from Myrtle Beach. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a very nice place. There's family down there. I just, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you have family down there? Yeah, I think my grandma lives there or something. Okay, cool. So we went with like uh, my grandparents, my mom's parents, mm-hmm. and uh, my aunt and uncle is my mom's brother, my mom's brother's wife, yeah. and his two kids. Yeah, so it's fun. That's I mean, cool. the beach, you know, it's always a good time at the beach. Yeah. I went to a Ripley's museum. Oh, nice. Have I you ever been to one yeah, of those? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, they're cool. You see the lizard man? Yeah. He's a freak. <laughs> I had I had one of the books as a kid. Oh, man. I love walking through with the mindset of just like, oh, I, I don't believe that. <laughs> I just can't believe you know? it. Do they have, believe uh, it or not. Can't believe it's not butter in Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh, like, they should. Believe it's it or like, not. Uh, not. Believe butter. it or not. This is margarine. It's not I butter. Believe, I don't believe it. I don't believe that. Still don't believe it. Yeah, uh, they should if they don't. Yeah. Ripley's man, it's fun. It's kind of underrated. Yeah, as a whatever, as a museum chain, <laughs> as a museum chain, book. It was a book franchise. Yeah, the book franchise is nice. And they had a TV show for a while. Did they? Yeah, I used. To, I, I think I saw an episode or two. It, it was like on the Travel Channel. It wasn't or much. Something. It wasn't much to watch. It was just like, you know, out of control, yeah. crazy. Yeah. I think they might have shown excerpts in the museum from the show oh yeah like Probably. next to lizard man yeah. it's like oh look at my tongue because he's a freak dude he's got his forked tongue oh man yeah he's got a, his, he forked his tongue right and he's got like a million tattoos oh yeah i've seen this guy and he I've had like horns mm-hmm. like you know how like a snake's like head is like ridged yeah he has yeah. like horns in his head body like, modification what a what a moron <laughs> i feel like because they've been around since like the 50s right please yeah and they like you know, started with like world's fattest woman, mm-hmm. bearded woman, whatever. Yeah. Right. I feel like some people started modifying themselves to be on Ripley's. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's this dude like called the Cat Man, and he had a little, he had a like fat inserted into his lips, and he has like he had like his lips split, so it looks like a cat's like you know how like a cat's mouth yeah, yeah. is. And then he had like um like the stud earrings <laughs> like put into it, so it looks like he has the whisker. <laughs> That's, weird. That's so weird. It's like, why? <laughs> yeah, there's no point. <laughs> like, what makes... Like, there has to be a certain amount of mental illness. I probably... I'd love to find out, because I think they're all alive still. I'd love to find out where they live. I'd get love to get, <laughs> get them on the pod. That would be a fascinating interview, it right? It might be a Tusk situation, though. You don't want to end Ooh, up like that. it's true. They'd have to come here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to their house. Yeah. Um, Just put out an ad on Craigslist. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if you're the lizard man, it's like, need... We want, you. We need want the lizard li- man. Put it on the Craigslist personals. It's like, wanted <laughs> one lizard man. Um... You'll probably get a lot of hits. DTF. Probably DT- <laughs> probably get a lot of hits. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, vacation was fun. Uh, you were gone for something other than Winchester, right? Or maybe not. Um, maybe I imagined that. No, I don't think I... I'm, tr- I'm actually trying to remember. The last, he, like, week or two was kind of hazy. Okay. Because you were oh, saying to- Andrew was house-sitting for you. Andrew, been on the show? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, he did that... You just paid him to come over and hang out with you? <laughs> no, he, he, does, that, he does that whenever like, we were gone as a family. Right. Like, why was your family gone? I think I think while I was in Winchester, my parents left. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I think they took a couple of days off. Okay. So that's probably what that was. Okay. That's probably when he, why he house it. I went to uh, West Virginia recently. Yeah, I you're wearing that shirt, which is nice. West Virginia shirt. Um, this was it, a video. Yeah. It's <laughs> very nice. It. It's a, It looks like a christmas sweater but it's not a christmas sweater it's a t-shirt it's a t-shirt it has snowmen on it and it's got snowflakes on it and it it says west virginia it's got a pattern that looks like it's cross-stitched but it's not it's It's not it's just just a decal it's a graphic (laughs) t-shirt a graphic t um that's so yeah that's cool yeah i went to a fair okay yeah the the fair is happening in uh right here in town the augusta county we should go do they have carnies still (laughs) 
<laughs> we <laughs> should go interview some Carney. That'd be great. That'd be great. Get the fattest woman on the show. <laughs> yeah. The bearded, bearded, bearded woman. The bearded woman. The lizard man. <laughs> the, the midget. We could just have that a, was one of the most, podcast. like, politically incorrect things. Like, yeah. okay, carnies in general, but, like, sometimes they just have a midget. And it's yeah. like, oh, what a freak. <laughs> it's like, wow, he's insane. <laughs> he's shorter than the average man. <laughs> it's like, wow. Yeah. I don't like that there's um the, all those shows for little people. Like I'm not trying to. That's true. Yeah. Sound like I'm discriminating, but why do we need shows? I feel like it's patronizing. Yeah, it's funny because like there's so much like political correctness out there, and like I, you know, everyone should be treated with the same dignity, obviously. But yeah. like, it seems like so many like we've taken so many steps forward. So many of the shows on TV are just like a million <laughs> steps back. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like because why else am I interested other than they're small? You, you know, know what it's I mean? like what's it like, like to live like that? And they just get a normal family. Yeah, it's like and they just pay them a ton of money to. <laughs> yeah, they're just a normal <laughs> family. It's like I will say uh, there was one of them. I I forget the name of it, but there was one of them where like she had like a normal kid. Yeah, yeah. Like he was a normal sized man. They were both little people. Yeah. I don't know what to call them I without get, being offensive. No, I think the, <laughs> like, the little people is because it's like dwarves. I heard them like explain it. It's like dwarves and dwarf. Like one of those two is the actual. That's a. I I was was under the impression that that was a separate thing. But well, I don't think it is. But well, yeah, like it's dwarfism or dwarfism. Yeah. But like one of those is the actual term, but the other one is like super offensive. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, like the other one is like if you say the wrong one, I don't know which one's right. That's weird. But if I you say the that. wrong one, they'll be like, I'm not a Lord of the Rings character. I they were the same <laughs> it's like, word. I, don't know. I thought they were the same word. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought they were interchangeable. That's interesting. But yeah, they were like, it's dwarfism. I'm not a dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, I'm not from Middle Earth. It's weird. Dur- they celebrate Duran's Day. Yeah, <laughs> they have second <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Shit, they have like the like really uh really hairy feet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, do we need more than one reality TV series for people with a genetic disorder? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, don't I mean, uh, they were. Uh, we already have the Kardashians. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, what I was trying to say is though, we got off on a tangent. Yeah. Um. They have a normal, like, sized kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, like, that must be, like, imagine being small, dimin- right. diminutive stature, right. <laughs> and having, like, in, like, birthing a normal sized oh, yeah, kid. Like, imagine, weird. like, that's gotta be, like, yeah. a, a big, like, health risk, right? When you, th- when you think about it, yeah. that's, that's a good point. I feel like since they were both, uh, little people. Now dwar- that's something dwarves. we should have a show about. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> since they were both birth. little people, um, it's not like a good. I, it's like a. It's like a. Um, what's it like? Recessive and dominant. It's, yeah. it's like a recessive gene yeah. to have like a normal sized kid, but it's still possible because yeah, they both right. have it in their gene in their gene pool. Like holy crap! Yeah, I know that's crazy. That's know? pretty crazy. Yeah, they'd have to do a C section for that. I would assume. Yeah, can't probably. Just, can't just but like even natural. carrying it around, like after nine months. Yeah. Because like the baby's size would be. That's true. Yeah, it'd be bigger than normal, right? After, like, yeah, after, a, like the the womb of a yeah. of a little person yeah, yeah. carrying a normal sized child. That's crazy. I I hadn't think about that. Yet. Yeah, that's brave. Yeah, you're giving these awards to Bruce Jenner <laughs> for being a woman. That's brave. A little person had a regular person. I saw. Uh, did you did you hear that? Um, apparently Bruce Jenner's uh nieces and nephews call him Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, no. Nice. It's a joke. It's a whole bit. Nice. A- <laughs> um, that would be weird. Yeah, it would be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. You know, everyone else. I think he has the right to, but it is odd. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it is odd that like, they had that like uh, award ceremony. Did you hear about this? They gave him an award for. Did they it. really? And it's like it's like one of these things. Okay, give him an award. They gave him it was like a bravery a bravery award. And it was like, I think apparently they gave him like they took the award. Away, it was like a w- national women's like award ceremony, and they took the award away from like someone who, I think, was like in the army, and like like she My was goodness. she was the one that was like gonna win it, yeah. and then they gave it to Bruce for like changing his sex, and it's one of these things to me like, I don't want to you know I don't want to say he doesn't have the right to do it because he obviously yeah. does, but to me that's not bravery, no. right? To me it's like. He's already super rich, and, like, yeah. if he chooses, like, not to work and, like, not to leave the house, like, he can, like, or she can, you know? Yeah. I guess, like, that's not bravery, right? Right. 
to me it's like because there are people who like legitimately have those feelings and are like i'm not a man you yeah, know and yeah, they like yeah. have to get a sex change right to me bravery is you have no money you do it anyway yeah and you're working at target and you know people are going to give you like yeah, yeah, just yeah. constant crap for it but you do it anyway yeah it's it, not bravery if you're already I a, mean, an established he millionaire he wasn't the first person to you know get a sex change right so it's like he just did in yeah. the public eye and it's like who's in this day and age people are gonna you know give you praise for whatever right do that it's not really bravery it's you know. yeah like it's i i think it's brave if you do it and it's like you know you have yeah. a dead-end job and you have no money right and, and you know you're gonna get like constantly bullied for it and he's stuff. like 60 and i think his dad's passed away so he doesn't have to worry about what he doesn't have to worry thinks. about his father <laughs> That's the biggest issue. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I guess he's got kids and stuff, but he's his own man or yeah. woman. Um, yeah, he's his own woman. I don't know. It's whatever. Yeah. Give him an award. I don't care. Yeah, it's fine. I. The, the, it's just, it doesn't seem like it's brave to me. It doesn't seem like and something the other you should give is, to him over... Uh, uh, well, that was my served. big issue with it. I was looking at who they okay. didn't give the award to, and it was like literally like a girl who had like gotten a purple heart and like yeah, had saved yeah. like a platoon and it was like what the hell insane, <laughs> like they took you know what i mean yeah. they took like it away from like someone who it's like pretty, legitimately risked her life yeah. and i don't think bruce jenner even got rid of his penis i, th- I don't think he did either <laughs> so <laughs> some estrogen yeah and botox yeah i i will say for for a 60 year old woman he doesn't look bad <laughs> she doesn't bad. look bad like Not you know bad. what i mean like for how you would expect a 60 year old woman to look right not bad. Uh, f- six out of ten <laughs> would consider. <laughs> would consider. Uh, um, how would you feel if you, uh, with this, people getting sex changes, you know, uh, how would you feel if they didn't have a wiener, right? right. But you you married. <laughs> like Found out later? Yeah, you found out later that they used to be a man. That's and it's like, it. they're totally That's... they're totally just a good-looking woman. Yeah. But it's like you found out that they had the surgery, and they're just like they were a man. Yeah, I don't know. Would how that I bother would, you? I, I think it would. It would certainly bother me, but I don't. I feel like in the back of my mind, like it would bother me a lot. Yeah, it's <laughs> you know tough. I mean? Like I wouldn't want to. Yeah, because then you're just like, like totally a good-looking woman, right? You know, because like, but like, yeah, that's tough. It's certainly. <laughs> I just thought it was an engorged clay. <laughs> like, if you're married and stuff, like, would you just, like, end the marriage? Or yeah, I don't know. Just, like, go on knowing that you're right. actually married to a guy? I can't remember who it was. Biologically? I can't remember who it was, but there was someone who... It was someone famous, and, like, their their girlfriend... It, they found out their girlfriend, like, basically was, like, a man. Because, like, they hadn't had a sex change, yeah. but they were, at one point, a hermaphrodite. And I think the dominant, uh, the dominant part was the male, right? And they chose to be because if you're a hermaphrodite, you kind of choose yeah, like yeah, which yeah. one you want to be. But one is the dominant. Like your genes are saying you're a man, yeah. Even though you have both you parts, just sort of have, yeah. So apparently, like his girlfriend, I forget who it was. I, I need to find out. But it was someone pretty big. I think like Justin Timberlake or something. Um, oh no, you know who it was? It was Michael Phelps? Oh really? Yeah, it was Michael Phelps. Um, apparently his girlfriend used, like, he had just found out that his girlfriend, like, was a hermaphrodite, huh. and, like, became a woman. Well, that would, you <laughs> or, know, like, chose would, to be a woman, but, would, like, that'd be kind of odd. be a lot of trust issues with that. Right, like, if they didn't tell you. Mm-hmm. Pretty, or, like, once you, like, know it's gonna, like, be pretty serious, yeah. right? Like, at a certain point, it's like, okay, this is moving, this is gonna be kind of serious. Yeah. Like, why don't you it's disclose tough. that information? Yeah, I guess so. But I guess if it never comes out. But if you're dating someone the caliber of Michael Phelps. Yeah, I know, yeah. Like, it's going to come out, right? right? So it's like, just. And it'll be big know. news when it does. Yeah, and you want them to hear it from you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you don't want to just. You don't want. Uh, which I think happened. I think he heard it from the news. <laughs> that's <laughs> so crazy. that's the yeah. worst possible way for him to hear it. TMZ or something. Yeah, TMZ. Man, uh. I gotta say, there's. I'm I'm a little depressed. Yeah. There's been some deaths lately. Really? Do you hear about this? Oh yeah. Um I'm a big wrestling fan obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh Friday, Friday, uh we lost Roddy Roddy Piper, yeah. one of my favorites. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So, I mean, I just wanted to have that on record. I'm it upset How me. How did he die? I didn't 
uh, cardiac arrest, which really, I think is he, a heart attack. He was old. He was. He? I mean, he was sixty-one. Yeah, which is old, but it's not really like dying age. You know, right? Like it's pretty young to die. Yeah, um, that is true. Very sad. It's not a full life. Yeah, very sad. It is sad. Um, so, uh, he died. Hulk Hogan's career died. That's true. <laughs> I do <didn't laughs> about Hulk Hogan. That. Hulk Hogan's racist. What, yeah. What he just like. Didn't he just say something or apparently or, I never heard exactly what he said. I just, well, it's interesting it. because they, I don't think the tape actually like got released to the public. I think like they just wrote it like in a, in a, um, thing like in a, uh, in a text, like not a text, yeah. but like in a text format. Um, it's interesting because there was a sex tape of him from eight years ago. Yeah. Like that existed. Right. And it was like, um, uh, there was a component of the sex tape that was him just like sitting around and talking with the, I guess the girl. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he had been in a lawsuit cause the sex tape kind of leaked. Like the whole thing is not out there, but he had been in a lawsuit to not have it be released because he didn't feel like they had the right to release it. Right. And apparently the racist conversation was on that. Sex oh, tape. seriously? So it begs the question, um, I don't answer the phone during the Paige Campbell show. It begs the question, um, like, was he worried about that sex tape being released not because of the yeah. the sex, but because of because he of knew what he said the on the racist stuff, yeah. But it got out, um, basically, um, basically, uh, it's an 800 number. Basically, um, nice case. Thank you. <laughs> I know, it's Homer, he's eating an apple. That's I just positive. got it, it's cool. Um, so it got out basically, you know, his daughter, Brooke, Mm -hmm. he was basically complaining that his daughter was, um, dating a black man (laughs) and it was something to the effect of if she has to date one, she could at least date, uh, a basketball player that has a lot of money. (laughs) It was something to the effect of that. It was that statement laced with the N word. I'm not going to say the N word, but (laughs) it was that statement laced with the N word. And uh, it's, you know, it's super sad. I mean, yeah. I, I'm a big uh, wrestling fan. You know, I'm a big Hogan fan, but, I mean, it's right there. Like, yeah. you can't you can't ignore the fact that, like, that's what he said, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's interesting, though, that, like, he said that, like, so many years ago. It was, yeah, it was eight years old, but still. And I mean, just, like, he, like, unearthing something that's old like that and just how much it ruins. Yeah, that. and it's, it's one of these things, like, um, the WWE has completely wiped him out of existence. Like, he's not. Um, yeah. He's like they took him out of the Hall of Fame. Like he's not part of their history anymore. Yeah. Um, and it, it's one of these things. His stick during wrestling was that he was the real American. Yeah, like his song, yeah. his song literally went, "I am a real American. I fight for the rights of every man." So it's like, yeah, that's it just totally. It's like, ah, uh, man. I guess his action figures are probably gonna sell. Yeah, that's true. In the um, next few years, like yeah, a lot more. And I, I don't know. He hasn't been handling it the best way um, because he, like, I think he tweeted and was like. Oh, so it's wrong for me to say it, but not the president. And it's like, well, <laughs> yeah. okay, the president said it once in context. You yeah. you used it like 20 times in a very derogatory way. It's very big difference, That's Hogan. Pretty, yeah. So, I mean, he Shame. has been apologetic, but, you know. Yeah. I'll still be a fan of Hogan in the ring. Yeah. But as a person, <laughs> I can't back him. I'm sorry, but, like, oh, as a person, I can't. It is, but... Uh, I feel bad. Yeah, I feel my heart goes out to Roddy's family, Roddy yeah. Roddy Piper. Big big fan of Roddy Roddy Piper. There was never anything like that in his. Nothing racist. There. No, no, never, never anything like that in his uh, legacy. Um, very sad. Yeah. Um, and it was funny too because like when he was in when he was in the like him and him and Hogan feuded a lot, and so I saw someone tweet and be like man uh roddy is really dedicated to putting hogan over (laughs) because it's like all this racist stuff and then he dies it's like yeah yeah, he like definitely takes the heat off of hogan (laughs) yeah um but there was also another death yeah i hate to talk about death so much Mm -hmm. you know where i'm going yeah uh satoru Mm wada very sad that was two or three weeks ago but very sad the president of nintendo uh he was a great guy i loved uh he worked cancer or something yeah, apparently, well, Japan's very reserved uh, about, like, 
they're very reserved about information they release to the public. So I knew he was sick because he wasn't at E3. He skipped E3. Oh, really? But I didn't know he was, like, that sick. Yeah, but, yeah, he was no apparently idea. had really terminal cancer um, because they just didn't release much information. But the only thing I knew was he he skipped E3 because of health issues. That's crazy. That was unexpected to and me. And then a month later, he's not with us. Yeah, that sucks. And he was, young. He was like, in his 50s. Yeah. So... Um, very sad. Very sad. Um, he worked on a lot of great games. Uh, Earthbound. Yeah. He worked on uh, a lot of the Kirby games, Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Yeah, I think up until Melee. Yeah. And then, like, he was the producer, which means he was overlooking, like, all of pretty much the modern stuff yeah. he was the producer for. So, very Big sad. Loss. And he was such a great personality. Yeah. You would watch the Nintendo Directs. Oh, yeah, He's, like, yeah. bringing Nintendo news directly to you. <laughs> like, ah, what a great guy. Yeah. So. It's a shame. Uh, it was cool, though. Apparently, the day after he died... Uh, Nintendo headquarters in Kyoto had a had a rainbow like going from the top of the building into the clouds. Oh, really? So it's like wow. a, it's a rainbow road. Yeah, <laughs> took a rainbow road to heaven. That's crazy. Yeah. So that was, that was uh, sad. Very sad. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> Any more deaths? Um, no, there's no deaths. Any births? Any any notable births? I don't think so. I don't think we talked about the royal birth. <laughs> birth day. <laughs> oh, was there a birthday? You know what? The royal birth. We didn't talk about it, but it happened. I read a couple some, months I read ago. Something along, I read something along the lines of of what of this uh, that I liked. We won the uh, revolutionary war, so that we don't have to care about the royal yeah birth. yeah. So I mean, it's like the whole royal family. We like to Canada. We don't need about. They do they. They don't have like kings. Do I they? think they. I think they follow the queen's rule. Oh, or do something, they? something mm. like that. Parliamentary. Okay. All right. Like they're their own. They're their own people. But as far as politics are concerned, I mean the whole royal like, the whole royal system in like uh Britain is like just straight like hogwash anyway yeah i mean because because the thing is like they don't do anything like they literally just collect yeah people's money. it's cool that they have the tradition and stuff and people love them yeah i think it's cool yeah it's not something i care about <laughs> it's not something i knew i know when like when these americans are like you see like videos of like americans crying because yeah. the royal baby was born <laughs> yeah. it's like come on no we were back in this was we were still in school when when the when the kid was born and i remember people talking about it like like it was a big deal and i was like you do people actually care about this yeah right yeah <laughs> it's, it's like, like so absurd um goodness. yeah what was the did, did you ever know the baby's name isn't it george is it george i think it's george okay no no it was a female though wasn't it no we had a boy oh really <laughs> <laughs> we, we had a boy i thought i thought Prince it was like george. big news that it was a female because was there another one maybe born maybe I'm talking William and Kate. Yeah, I think it was baby George. <laughs> maybe it was. I may be mistaken. I thought it was a big deal that it was a female because, um, like, this was the first time if a female was born, it that would just be the next, ro- next yeah. in line. Because, like, it was for the longest time, like, it has to be a man. Yeah. But they changed the rule to, like, the firstborn. So I thought the big deal. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe the big deal was that we haven't had a king in a while. And That's he's, true. He's going to be That's king true. or something. That's true. Just can't wait I know. I love game. like um like freaking uh the guy that's next in line is because this kid's not the next in line, right, right? Right. The guy that's next in line is like sixty, and he's like, "Why won't the freaking <laughs> queen die?" Or yeah. yeah, queen die. Yeah, she's, and she's old. like she's like ninety six, and he's old. just like, by the time she dies, he's not gonna get to enjoy being king. <laughs> yeah, you know? that sucks for him. It does suck for him. For sure. um, but I mean, it's one of these things since you don't have the power to really make laws anyway. Yeah, like. You know, he's he's pretty much enjoying the life of a king. Yeah, that's you true. Know? That's true. It's like, yeah. Back in the day when you could make laws, it's like, okay. But, like, now it's like... Everybody's rich. Yeah. In the family. You want to make laws, be prime minister. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good thing we have democracy here in America. Yeah. I mean, they pretty much have democracy, right? Yeah. It's not much different. Their monarchs don't do anything. They just... But, but that's the thing, like, I, why I don't understand it, because it's like... Okay, they have monarchs and they're nice figureheads, but like they don't make laws. Yeah, and they are collecting taxes. Like they get taxes. Yeah, I know that's a good. They're point, rich because of taxes, and it's like they more don't of a do sim- anything. They're more of a symbol than anything. It seems like. Yeah, and they just yeah just get a ton of the people's money. Yeah, yeah. It a uh, a weird story. We're just gonna get off the royals. I don't like the royals. <laughs> we'll never be royals. <laughs> that's a crap song. It's not a good Lord. song. It's not a good song. Um. So here's a here's a thing that happened. This just came to my mind. Um, 
our dog Percy. Mm-hmm. He was being walked at the dog park, right? And he he got like I guess I guess he like I think I feel like it was like a big like animal because he chases animals like in the woods a lot, mm-hmm. and like I wasn't there when it happened, but like my mom heard him yelp, and he came out and his ear was bleeding profusely. Hmm. Uh, so I mean. He, you know, he gets groundhogs and stuff. I feel like he maybe bothered something bigger, like a mm. fox, yeah. that he shouldn't have bothered. But it wasn't a huge cut. It was just, like, right on an artery. So it kept bleeding, and we couldn't get it to stop bleeding. Um, And so, like, we wrapped it up, and, like, it wouldn't, it, like, wouldn't stop bleeding. So eventually he had to go to the vet and get stitches, mm-hmm. but there was blood, like, all over the carpet and stuff. Um, And my mom knows this because she's a nurse, but apparently hydrogen peroxide, you know, like the clear liquid, is, like, super good for getting rid of, like, blood. Really? Yeah, it's, like, like if you pour it on blood, it just, like, the blood just, like, disappears. That's interesting. It's amazing. So, like, if you want to kill someone... (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Like, I mean, yeah, if you're looking to kill someone, hydrogen hydrogen peroxide. But we only had, like, two bottles, right? Right. Um, We only had, like, two bottles, so I had to go to Walmart at, like, 1 or 2 a.m. to get some to get some hydrogen mm-hmm. peroxide right and the thing about hydrogen peroxide is it's like yes it gets blood but it like it but it absorbs blood because it like absorbs iron yeah. apparently it absorbs blood so a lot of people use it to kill themselves too oh yeah well if you just drink it <laughs> if you just drink yeah. it right a lot of people use it to kill themselves H2O2. too too exactly because it absorbs like blood and i guess stomach juices yeah and like it's poison pretty much uh, <laughs> That's why if somebody orders an H2O at, at the restaurant, you don't say, I'll have an H2O too. Yeah, there you go. Hydrogen peroxide. They're going to give you a glass of hydrogen it's a little peroxide. little chemistry joke. Like you're, the person that goes to, <laughs> the person that goes to a bar or like a restaurant and is like, I'll have H2O. It's like, <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Unless you're with friends, don't do that. <laughs> I would love to like, yeah, exactly. Like that's a terrible first impression, <laughs> yeah. you know? I would love, yeah. Um, I would love to like if I owned a restaurant, like advertise. It's like we have locally sourced hydrogen <laughs> and oxygen. It's like buying our, our hydrogen we have great oxygen water. molecules. It's like you're advertising for something that like has to be free anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I went to Walmart at like 2 a.m. and I got like 10 bottles of <laughs> hydrogen peroxide, and uh, I was like trying to think of something else to buy. Yeah. So, so like, so just... they wouldn't think I was like gonna go home and kill myself. Cause I was at Walmart. Yeah. Cause I'm at Walmart and I have ten bottles of hydrogen peroxide, <laughs> and uh, I got like some cream soda <laughs> and like a little Olimar figurine. Something to wash it down. <laughs> yeah, I got like a little Olimar figurine. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's weird just to like, cause ten bottles is so much. Yeah, it's weird to like. Lot. It's weird to like have like small make small talk with someone <laughs> when they're like. This person's yeah. definitely gonna kill themselves. Really I was like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" And it's two a.m., so the person doesn't want to be there anyway. Yeah, yeah. But ten bottles of hydrogen, they're like, "Uh, you want you want you want a bag?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No, nah, I don't. I don't need a bag." <laughs> I don't waste. Yeah, I don't want to be wasteful. Yeah, last moment. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm already a big enough waste. That's funny. <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah, so I actually had a recent um, spat with blood. Yeah, uh, dude. I mean, I. Until you see blood, like, because it was, it was like a major yeah. artery. It was everywhere. Yeah. And until you see it, like, everywhere, like, you realize how, like, you don't realize how squeamish you are. Yeah, yeah. Because they say video games, like, and, like, really violent media desensitizes you, but it they doesn't. totally doesn't. Because it it's, like, I play, like, the, like, most heinous things. Yeah. But then when I actually see, like, a pool of blood on the floor, because there was so much. Yeah. When I actually see a pool of blood on the floor, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I, I'm getting lightheaded. Yeah, uh, I was, I was cooking the other day and um i was opening a can of beans an aluminum can mm-hmm. and the lids are very sharp oh and i was I, I was using the uh one of those old uh can openers like the crank ones you know yeah and it every time you you use one of these uh like can openers it skips like a bump mm. and so you have to pry the lid open oh gotcha and I was like, well, I should probably do this with, like, a knife, but I don't feel like getting a knife out. So I just <laughs> used my fingers to pry oh. the lid open, and it snapped and cut my finger. Just, re- just the smallest cut. Mm-hmm. The smallest cut. Oh, I can see. Is that, like, a, yeah. is that like where it happened? You can see yeah. it. It's not even a big cut. But, it but if you hit, the, like, the artery, so yeah. Because, like, the fingers have a lot of arteries. Like, I, I just was like, oh, crap, I got it cut. And I started rinsing it off, and then I was like, it's kind of bleeding a lot. I guess I should wrap it up. And I right. went back to get a Band-Aid. By the time I go to the bathroom where the Band-Aids are, which is... Down the hallway from where I was, mm-hmm. 
there was blood like everywhere, like all in my hands, and it it was covering the floor. And I was like, I had to get my dad to help me just get a band aid. Yeah. Jeez like, Louise. Yeah. Like, it's a small cut. I remember like I was in like third or fourth grade, and I don't know I don't know why, but like I had like a I have like a big I still have the knife. It was like a big like uh, hunting knife. Yeah. And like for some reason I was like trying to like cut like like a porcelain figure or something like in half i don't know why i was doing it <laughs> but like um i like cut like half my nail off oh geez and it hurt a lot but like i didn't like i didn't want to tell my parents yeah. and it was like pretty late it was like 10 30 11 so they were already asleep and it was like bleeding like crazy and i couldn't get it to stop bleeding but, like i didn't want to like tell my parents yeah. so i like wrapped it up like really terribly and it was like still bleeding <laughs> and then i think like hope or will like went and told my parents that's funny but i like didn't i like i was like it hurt but i was like more worried that like they'd be upset yeah. that i was cutting something yeah so that's funny i don't know cutting stories are weird yeah they are um but percy's all right now that's good i'm glad it, his stitches are out it, it, i'm actually surprised how well it healed up it was a coyote there's coyotes in the it might have been i've heard them yeah hey you hear him howling and crap. yeah i haven't seen them but i hear him really i don't know i don't know what it was it wasn't even a big cut it was just like right on the artery mm. And yeah, like we had like his ear like taped to the side of his yeah. head, and like he just kept it just it needed stitches because he because he wouldn't stop, wouldn't stop opening it up. I don't know of any more uh, blood stories. <laughs> uh, blood stories are yeah, they're nice. It's true. It was a fun episode. It was a good episode. I liked it. But it, have you been out to anything else? <laughs> Pretty much nothing. Past week and past week or two. Right. I've done almost nothing. Went to the fair. Yeah. Ate some food. That's about all I did there. Hmm. Watched a uh, any funnel cake? Tractor pull. No, actually, it's a it's a fair in West Virginia, and it's like a, it's like a county fair, mm-hmm. a youth fair, like we have you know in our area. Oh, gotcha. And we go there like every year i've been there like every year for the past my entire life pretty much because uh-huh. it's right there where my grandparents live in like winchester or something yeah, martinsburg area is that west virginia yeah okay so we go and we see old cousins and stuff that we haven't seen right and there's old, this old flames <laughs> it's like cousins and old not, uh not really <laughs> not really like that <laughs> well um, <laughs> but uh we go every year and the main reason I like going is because of these sausage sandwiches okay. that they have. <laughs> and it's, it's a sausage fest? It's it's it really is. It's amazing. There's this <laughs> little this little um just this little like building uh set up and they have a menu, it's like sweet tea mm-hmm. and then you can get like I like this menu already. A sausage sandwich, uh pork tenderloin sandwich or a, like a country ham sandwich i'm pretty sure that's literally all they have on the menu and then they have like mayonnaise and stuff set out in front and napkins and i think they just like i think it's their own sausage ground up and cooked like right there on the spot and it's the some of the best stuff ever you know hmm. it's really good sausage is good yeah i've always said i would love to go to like an actual sausage fest <laughs> like a literal I, like i would love that. it's like ah uh, just because like you walk in and it's like ah oh, it's a real sausage fest in here <laughs> Because it is a real sausage fest. A bunch of amazing meat. Yeah, I mean, like a meat fest. Yeah. (laughs) I'd love to go to a meat fest. Meat con. Four. I would. I'd pay to do that. Yeah, meat con. I love meat. Yeah, meat's great. Um, I feel like I I was going to... Oh, yeah. Uh, You know what I've never done? I did it on this vacation. I've never done this on a vacation before. Um, But I brought brought my PS3, Mm -hmm. you know, so we'd have Netflix Mm -hmm. and stuff. But I brought, like, a game that I hadn't played at all, and I just, like, beat it on vacation. <laughs> That's the absolute best. Have yeah. you ever done that on vacation? I have, actually. Like, ah. Like, just, like, like, because it's, like, you get away from everything, yeah. and you just have time to, like, sit down and, like, play through a game. Yeah, I did I that loved with it. Um, Daniel. Yeah. Who's uh, been on the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We went to the beach one year together, because mm-hmm. he had, like, it was, like, his aunt's beach house or something, and they had room for me. He was just like, you want to go? And I was like, yeah, right. I think you were going to go. He invited me one year, but it it really uh, uh, pissed me off <laughs> because <laughs> he invited me and I really wanted to go, but we couldn't go because we already had tickets to like the Southern Baptist Convention, yeah. which is like, my, oh, dad, yeah, yeah. my dad doesn't really go anymore, but uh, 
like for the longest time we went every year Mm -hmm. it's the most boring thing but he enjoys it um you will you know you can walk the show floor and stuff but i would i would just like play my 3ds while it was like just sitting like with with sermon after sermon just awful but yeah like i beat kid icarus one time like oh that's great during during a sermon because like Kid Icarus is a hard game, so yeah. I just like kept playing it over and over again. It was on my 3DS, but so we had tickets to that, and then my mom had like she got diagnosed with a uh, mm-hmm. cancer, right. with col- colorectal colorectal cancer, right. which is fine now. She's all clear. That's good. But at the time, it was last summer, I think. At the time, she was getting treatment, so we couldn't go. Yeah, and I was like, well. I uh, could have gone to the yeah because he he took Shaddy instead. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, was well, yeah. could have gone to the beach with uh, Daniel, but yeah, it's a bummer. Um, so yeah, that that was unfortunate. Well, yeah, I much rather would have gone to the beach than uh, the Southern, Southern Baptist, Baptist Convention because yeah. even if we had win, it's like it's the lame. Yeah, exactly. It's lame. Well, anyways, I was there with him. Mm-hmm. It was a good trip, uh, but it rained a lot. It rained you know, more than half of the days we were there. Right. And he brought his Wii and he brought Smash Bros, but he neglected to bring his SD card, ah. which had all of his Smash Bros memory on it. And I was like, all right, that's fine. I remember how to unlock almost everybody. Yeah. So we spent, you know, like a good portion of the week just playing through the Subspace Emissary yeah. and unlocking all the characters. Subspace Emissary is pretty good. It was fine. I yeah. will say, it's so, un- it's somewhat underrated. It's not that long. It's a, f- it's a fun Yeah, and especially like the final boss on multiplayer, I think oh, I beat yeah. it with hope. The boss is amazing. Yeah, and especially with, with a taboo. partner, it's like really fun. Yeah. yeah. yeah so Very we did taboo. That. We did that that week. Very taboo boss. <laughs> it's a taboo boss. It would have been funny if they called him Taboo. And he just had like uh, like a huge wiener or something. It's just <laughs> yeah, like, it's like very taboo. Oh God, for this, <laughs> or just like incest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're finding some incestuous. Like, yeah, it's like 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 we don't show it at all. But he's a racist. Like he is a racist. So <laughs> he very taboo. Humans, he's a cannibal. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, we did that. We beat the subspace. Yeah. We so most of the characters. I bought. I I brought uh, Arkham Asylum. Oh nice. On the uh, yeah. I beat it. Um, and I will say, it's the Arkham Knight, the PS4 one. I want that. I want it, too. It's the only one I haven't played now, yeah. because for some reason I hadn't played Asylum. I will say, people, I think, tend to over-romanticize Asylum. Really? Great game. I haven't played it. Great game, but like people give Origins a lot. Oh, you haven't played it? I haven't played it yet. It's good, um, but people give Origins a lot of crap. I think Asylum's the worst Batman really? game. It's good. It's the first. It's, ve- it's the first. It's very good. So there's another example yeah. of sequels being. But it's very unpolished obviously the first um the story i mean i don't think is that good Mm -hmm. um very easy the bosses weren't like a challenge at all yeah um and i mean yeah i mean i think i think origins is a better game and like people give origins a lot of crap city is amazing city's really really good i mean this was like a series that just sort of came out of nowhere you know right oh yeah well that's the thing about asylum no one thought asylum was going to be good apparently i heard i've heard people say from like game outlets they went to like e3 like it had no stage time and apparently it had one really small booth it's a batman game yeah yeah. but it had one really small booth because licensed superhero games are never good yeah no one thought this game was going to be good and then it came out and just that's why i think i remember when it came out i thought it was based off the uh, movies and i was like oh, i don't know that i want like a right. movie game but then you play them and they're amazing. not based on the not movies. based on the i'm movies. glad they're not very directly based on the comics i mean there's yeah. so many oh, yeah, great references sure. in those games mm-hmm. like stuff that's not even part of this part of the story is just like yeah it's great um but yeah i mean i think because it came out it blew everyone's mind yeah um i think people haven't since i i played it last i mean i haven't played night but i played it last i think people tend to over romanticize it it's great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's a great game, but I don't think it's nearly as good as people remember. Yeah. Um, but good. I, I definitely recommend playing it. That's cool. I think I will have to yeah. do that. I want to play Origins. So I haven't played Origins. Either. Origins is very good. I kind of want to play. I, I I played City and Origins on the Wii U, mm-hmm. um, and I kind of want to play pl- replay them on the PS3 because I mean you can get them for like five ten bucks each. Um, I kind of want to replay them on the Wii U or on the uh, PS3 because of trophies. I love trophies. Yeah. And I wouldn't mind replaying them. Um, but it was one of these things like the Wii U has no third party support. Yeah. And at the beginning it had a little bit. So I was like, I'm not going to be one of these guys that complains about no third party support, but yeah. then doesn't support third party. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So any, I bought Assassin's Creed, I bought uh, Origins and City on the Wii U because I was yeah. like, it, and I'm not going to complain about no third party games if I didn't do something to change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I like it. Yeah. All right. That's the Paige Campbell Show, episode 29. 29? It's a good episode. I'm, I'm I'm really happy about this episode. Yeah, it's good to just talk. Yeah. Uh, we, this is, that's been the last couple episodes we kind of just talked. Yeah, I think so. Um, which is fine. I like topics. I feel like topics work better for bigger groups. Yeah, I agree. Maybe. I've got a good topic that would be good for I Yeah, I mean, I've had a couple. For that, groups. Um, so it's good that we just. Yeah, just kind of sit down. Just, just rift. Riffing. There was a lot of riffing. A couple riffs. Yeah. A couple good riffs. That's the Paige Campbell Show, episode 29. <laughs> I always forget. Yeah. Episode 29. Uh, uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm at Uncle Page. Noah's at NoahAiden42. Two A's. No E's. Um, three A's, I guess, with Noah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Uh, buy a shirt. Zazzle.com slash the Page Campbell Show. Backslash, forward slash. Do you make money off that? Not really, no. <laughs> but maybe one day. Gets the word out. Yeah. They're great shirts. Yeah, definitely. I, I Yeah, they are good shirts. Uh, thanks for listening.